In Pocket Edition, you can now make automated farms. Here's one with sugarcane. Hello everyone and welcome to OMG Craft. I'm your host, OMG Chad. Today we are going to be looking at the new 0.15.0 update on Pocket Edition. There's some new blocks, which I've already shown a lot to you already, that can now make automated farms possible. So let me show you a super simple automated sugarcane farm. So here we are inside of, this is the Windows 10 edition, but it translates directly to Pocket Edition. It just allows, allows me to record it on my PC. Also, you may have seen some glitchiness up in that corner and down that, that corner. Uh, you'll see a little bit of glitchiness. My, my graphics card isn't, uh, isn't cooperating today, so you may see, uh, you can kind of see a few little glitches. I apologize about that. Uh, but uh, it doesn't affect the game. So this is what we are going to be building. And this is also the maximum size uh, that you can build it. Uh, well, f per tile, this is tileable. Uh, so let me first talk about it and then I'll talk about why uh, the size constraints are uh, close to this. Uh, but you can make it actually as big as you want, and I'll tell you how. So first off, in the uh, new Pocket Edition, you have pistons, which were added in, but you also got a brand new block that is only in Pocket Edition and Windows 10 Edition, which is the Observer block. And the Observer block is really, really cool, and it fixes a problem that the Pocket Edition had. Because inside of the PC Edition, there was something called a block update detector or a bud switch. Uh, and what this bud, B, bud, B-U-D is block update detector. Um, what this would do is it would use a glitch in the piston uh, and it would be able to tell whenever a block, so let's say uh, this red sandstone is the block that I'm looking at, whenever something happened inside of that block, whenever there was an update, maybe the update is putting down some redstone, maybe it is uh, sugarcane growing, maybe it is the sandstone getting broken and uh, coming back. It's creeper, you better behave. Um, so that is what a block update detector does. The observer does exactly that. So here is what is going to happen with the sugarcane. After these guys grow just a little bit, and uh, sugarcane can grow at most three tall naturally, uh, once this sugarcane right here grows to the height of three, something will happen inside of the block this observer is looking at. And uh, the block that it is looking at is right above this too high sugarcane right now. Now. When something happens, it will send a redstone signal out the back. See the smaller square right here? Uh, that is where the redstone signal will come out. And this larger square is show, denotes which uh, block it is looking at. So let's add a uh, sugar cane on top. It'll notice it and a redstone signal will come out the back and pistons will fire because of all of the redstone. So we're gonna do it. There we go. And it harvests all the sugar cane all at once, which is really, really cool. You can come by, you can pick it all up, or if you want to get uh, even more maniacal and efficient, you can use hoppers to collect them. Now, let me talk about the size constraints of this uh, setup right now. Uh, to be honest, you could make this unlimited size uh, because all you have to do is count how many blocks away from uh, the observer you are. Redstone will only travel 16 blocks. So if I was to, let me just uh, quickly boop, boop. Uh, we're gonna add a little bit of, uh, of length into here. And we're gonna put down some water and we're gonna put down some more sugar cane and we're just gonna keep this going. And you'll see that this last sugar cane will not be harvested. We're gonna make it really, 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 really tall. Although natural growth is only three blocks high, you can place blocks on top. So, uh, once this gets harvested, you can see that bottom one doesn't get harvested because uh, it is 17 blocks away from the observer. So all you have to do is place another observer down. Boop, whoops. By the way, the observer is, uh, the block that you place it on is the block that it will be observing. Uh, so that's 
that's how that works. Uh, and if you wanted to get really mathematical about it, you could set this block 15 blocks away from here. That way you would use up less observers uh, when you are uh, creating uh, this type of line. So you can tile it. Uh, it can be as big as you want, uh, but uh, it will be 15 blocks. With only one observer, it'll be 15 blocks on either side of the observer, with the 16th block being the observer that uh, itself um, on either side. So remember, you, you could go out this way as well and have the observer be in the middle. Now, how do you make this observer block? That's probably a question you are asking. Well, some of the things that you're gonna need, and uh, I hope that I can find them. Oh, good, great. I was like, oh, this might be a little bit difficult without uh, all of the, without the search feature inside of Minecraft. Uh, you need some cobblestone, uh, you need some redstone, and you need some quartz. And then let me grab a crafting table, which I think, I don't have here uh, and just let me show you what this uh, looks like in order to build where is the crafting table are you in building blocks mr. crafting table we could just craft our own here if uh, if we need to because this is getting getting ridiculous Oh, there it is. Found it. Okay. So, uh, what you'll need is to take your cobblestone and you'll put it in sort of this C shape. Uh, oops. Actually, you'll put it in more of a on the top and on the bottom shape. And then you'll put one quartz uh, on the side. And that is how... Get out of here. That is how you create the observer block with the cobblestone on top and bottom and two redstone and quartz. I don't think this works. Oops, I was gonna put it in the middle. No, that does not work. So two uh, redstone on one side and a quartz on the other, and that is how you get your observer block. That is the observer block and the super duper simple sugar cane farm. This design is really simple and I think that it'll suit your needs just fine. If you use the observer block in one of your builds and want to show me, send a snapshot over to at OMG Craft Show on Twitter. That would be fantastic. Also, if you want to see something built with the observer block, leave a comment down below letting me know your build suggestions. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to see more episodes, make sure you subscribe. YouTube.com slash OMG Craft is the place to go. And I'll see you next time on OMG Craft. Bye.